Hi guys, welcome back to Fire Podcast. I'm your host, Arlana, and I'm joined here by state champion, Max Milton. How are you today? Uh, I'm good. First of all, congratulations. How does it feel to be a state champion? Uh, it feels pretty good. Um, What was going through your mind during the final round, especially when you realized you, you had a chance to win? Um, I was excited, and uh, Miss Barr made me a deal if I won, I didn't have to write my paper, so I was happy about that. Of course, Miss Barr did that. How do you prepare mentally and physically for the pressure of competing at state level? Um, I played in a lot of tournaments before, so it kind of just felt like another tournament, but playing for your school is pretty fun, so that added a little extra pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, was there a specific shot or moment during the tournament that you felt was a turning point? Uh, yeah, on hole 17, I had a one-shot lead, and the kid was right in front of me, and I saw that he made a bogey, and then I hit it close to made birdie, so after that, I figured... I knew I was going to win. Golf can be such a mental game as it is physical. How do you stay focused and like when you're under pressure? Um, I eat a lot of snacks and drink some water and try and make jokes with the other kids I'm playing with. Who's been your biggest influence or mentor in golf? Uh, definitely my dad because he's our coach and he kind of teaches me everything I know about golf. Have you been playing golf your whole life? Yeah. Um, what challenges did you face throughout the season and how have you overcame them? Um, in the beginning part of the season, my mindset wasn't great. I was, would get kind of mad and negative, so I kind of worked on staying more positive and that definitely helped. As a freshman, you still have some few years of high school ahead of you. What goals do you have for the rest of your high school golf career? Um, I'd like to win three more state championships and hopefully get a few in with a team would be even more fun. How do you balance your time between schoolwork, golf practice, and other activities? Um, it's mostly golf practice, and then I usually get behind on school and have to make that up, but try and make as much time to get it, get in as much as I can of both. And finally, what advice would you give to your younger golfers who look up to you and want to achieve similar success? Just always keep practicing and you never get worse if you're practicing so anytime that you're practicing you're probably getting better and all that time will eventually work out and will make you a better golfer okay well thank you for coming on pirate podcast yeah thanks for having me back to phsn